Hey there, today we'll demonstrate how to run a wholesale supplier list through Arbisource. To get started, you will need a spreadsheet from your wholesale supplier. It's important to format this correctly, as a well-formatted spreadsheet enhances the matching process and saves time. Some common examples of things you can do to better format your spreadsheets include combining brands, product names, and product weights into a single column if they are currently split over multiple. If the spreadsheet contains barcodes, ensuring they're correctly formatted and fully visible. Removing embedded images from the spreadsheet and using image URLs instead. Ensuring the first row includes either column headings or the first product. If it contains branding or empty spaces, remove these too. Now that you have formatted your spreadsheet, navigate to the Scans page on Arbisource and click on Wholesale Scan. Upload your supplier list and enter the name of the wholesaler. Next, let's look at your scan options in detail. Include results with negative profit. Ticking this option will return all matches, profitable or not. This could be useful if you're interested in understanding the full range of products returned, regardless of immediate profitability. Use title and image matching. By default, Arbisource will use title and or image matching to decide whether the products returned from Amazon match the product from the supplier. If your spreadsheet contains barcodes but the product titles are not very descriptive, this may result in some genuine matches being removed. You can unselect this and Arbisource will return every matching product Amazon provides for the given barcode. This can greatly increase the speed of your scan, but will likely result in more mismatches. Check restrictions. We generally recommend keeping this checked. Amazon has a limit on how many product restrictions we can check per minute, and so if you have a lot of results, this can often slow down scans. Only uncheck this if you are wanting a faster scan and are happy to check the restrictions for each individual result manually. The next step is to assign columns using the drop-down menus provided. At the very least, you must assign a product name and a product price. Ideally, your supplier will also have provided barcodes, as these provide much better matches. If they have not provided barcodes, your scan will run 20 times slower due to API limits set by Amazon. Note that you do not need to assign a value to every column in your spreadsheet. Finally, set your Amazon cash value, adjust your filters, and click Start Scan. The scan may take a few minutes to several hours, depending on the size of your spreadsheet and the presence of barcodes. Once complete, the scan will move to the Completed Scans section. Click on View Results to see all of the potentially profitable leads from the wholesaler. That concludes our tutorial on running a wholesale scan with Arbisource. Thank you for watching, and if you aren't yet a member of Arbisource, be sure to click the link in the description and start your 7-day free trial today.